All right, here's the update. I tried to do this before I went to Daytona, but I just didn't have time. <clears throat> Things were a little hectic, getting ready to go and everything. But I was able to get the stuff I wanted to done before them that I talked about in the last video. So if you're watching the this video and you watch the last one, uh, you see the, the curved LED bar on top, the tow mirrors are on. Um, also, put the money on a hitch I'm never going to use because it's too pretty. <laughs> Still got my booby beads left. Um, but in a day, and also, I did get the music in it. Nothing not that I planned, but a little setup. Um, just three scar eights and the RP 1500. You can see it under there. I ended up, sorry, the inside's a little dirty. Just went to a little, got it cleaned up on the outside. Just went to a little local car and truck show at the equestrian center in Jacksonville. Um, but yeah, just want to do update. Just, you can see what it looks like with this. I don't know how I feel about the light bar with the bull bar and the light bar in it and having the 52 inch. I don't know. Y'all got any opinions on that? I feel like it might be like too much done to it. I don't know. <clears throat> sometimes I look at it and I'm like, man, that looks badass. And sometimes I'm like, man, I got, it's too gaudy. I don't know. I'd appreciate any uh, constructive criticism or any opinions, what y'all think. If it's too much or I don't know. But anyway, this is it. So again, you know, any of you guys looking for ideas on your 10th gen, I hope this helps and uh, or gives you some ideas. I don't know. I really love this truck. I never thought I'd say that about this fugly gen. But anyway, I just wanted to show the little bit of stuff I got done before we ended up going to Daytona. Uh, I'm going to Trucktoberfest October 21st through 24th. So if I see anybody there, say hey, man. That'd, that'd be cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. But anyway, I got that stuff done like I talked about. Just let me know what y'all think. I might do... I actually talked to some guys from Trauma Car Audio. Well... Uh, building something i got a i got a guy that's going to build my box so he actually the guy that kind of works for them kind of went over my with my buddy how we're going to build a box what we're going to run it looks like i might run one 3000 watt trauma amp to um two of their subs that come out here within the next couple months i'm hoping i'll have it by trucktoberfest i don't know but maybe you know if so that'll be awesome because what i got now I mean, it sounds really good inside, but it's, uh, <laughs> it don't carry loud. Like, you ain't going to be, like, scaring nobody or flexing anybody's windows in their house. But it sounds good, and it, it was better than having nothing, you know, when I was up there. A dang plane would drive by right now, or fly by. Anywho, just want to show a quick video of that. It's all done. Again, I'm sure I said this already once or twice, but just give me your opinions if you think uh, if the bull bar should stay or if that should go. I don't know. Or maybe the LED bar should go. I don't know. Something just seems like it's too much. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. But anyway, let me know what you guys think because I really, really do want to hear opinions of other 10th gen fans. So I'll show you one more front view. <clears throat> Looks kinda cool there, but I don't know. I don't know, I just feel like something's too much of something, man, I don't know. All right, well this video ain't gotta be very long, so it's like five minutes now. I'll quit running my mouth. 
and uh, you know next time I get something done I'll uh, I'll throw up another video hope you like it